In the last lecture, we had discussion on static and dynamic discrete time systems. And now, in this lecture, we will have discussion on causal and non-causal discrete time systems. And we know the fact that a causal system is a system in which the output, which is the present output, is independent of future values of input. So if the present output is independent of the future values of input, we will say the system is a causal system. So according to this condition, the present output may depend on the present input when we have a causal system or it may depend on the past input then we will also have a causal system or or the present output may depend on both present input and the past input but if at any one instant of time the present output is depending on the future value of input then the system will not be causal it will become non-causal system therefore non-causal system is a system in which the present output is depending on the future values of input at any instant of time so here in this case we have the possibility that the present output is only depending on the future values of input or the present output is depending on the future values of input as well as the present values of input or we have the possibility that the present output is depending on the future values of input or the past values of input and the final possibility is that the present output is depending on the future values of input and the past values of input as well as the present values of input. So in all these cases, the system is going to be non-causal. Now let's move on to our first example. And in the first example, output yn is equal to xn plus x n minus 1 and we are required to find out the system having this relationship between output and input is a causal system or a non-causal system so let's check when n is equal to 0 put n equal to 0 here and you will have y 0 equal to x 0 plus x minus 1 and n equal to 0 means 0 is the present instant and we are having y0 this means we are calculating the output yn at n equal to 0 and therefore we can say that we are having the output at present instant therefore this is the present output in the same way this is the present input because we know xn is the input and this one here is the past input. This is the past input because compared to n equal to 0, n equal to minus 1 is the past value. Therefore, x minus 1 is the past input. Now it is clear that present output is depending on the present input and also on the past input. And as you can see that there is no future value of input on which the present output is depending the system we are having is a causal system now we will check for the other value of n as well we took n equal to 0 and now this time we will take some positive value let's say n is equal to plus 1 so put n equal to plus 1 in this and you will have y1 equal to x1 plus x0 using the same way of the analysis we can say that 
y1 is the present output because n is equal to 1 x1 is the present input and x0 is the past input so again the present output is depending on the present input and also on the past input and there is no future value of input on which present output is depending therefore again we are having the nature of causal system let's take one negative value of n as well n is equal to minus 1 this will give us y minus 1 equal to x minus 1 plus x minus 2 now we can say that y minus 1 is the present output and this input is the present input and this input here is the past input so again we have the same scenario the present output is depending on the present input and the past input therefore we have the nature of causal system so we can say that the system having this relationship between output and input is a causal system now let's move on to example number two in example number two output yn is equal to xn plus xn plus 1 we will check when n is equal to 0 this will give us y0 equal to x0 x0 plus x0 plus 1 this means x1 now y0 is the present output this is the present output x0 is the present input but x1 is the future input so present output is depending on the present input as well as the future input and as it is depending on the future input the system having this relationship is going to be non-causal system so this is the answer and now we will move on to the third example in the third example we are having output yn equal to the conjugate symmetric part of the input xn and we know we can write the conjugate symmetric part of signal xn equal to xn plus x conjugate minus n then divided by 2 here you can see that if we put n equal to 0 we will have output as y0 and on the right hand side we will have we will have x0 plus x conjugate 0 then divided by 2 so here the present output is depending on the present input and the conjugate of the present input so the output is depending on the present inputs and therefore you will say the system is causal system but wait if you check when n is equal to minus 1 you will get the present output as y minus 1 and it will be equal to x minus 1 plus x conjugate plus 1 now here you will find the present output is depending on the present input and also on the conjugate of the future input so here the future input is involved and therefore we will say the system is non-causal system and as at one instant we are getting the nature of non-causal system the answer will not be causal system it will be non-causal system because we know if at any instant of time we get output which is the present output depending on the future values or value of input then the system will be non-causal system now let's move on to the fourth example in the fourth example output yn is equal to summation k equal to minus infinity to n x minus k this is what we have 
and from here we can say one thing that the final term of this summation is going to be x minus n when k is equal to n we will have the final term as x minus n and we will focus on the relationship between yn and x minus n we can write yn equal to sum of different terms including x minus n now put n equal to 1 and when you put n equal to 1 you will have y1 equal to sum of all the terms along with x minus 1 so we are going to get y1 equal to sum of different terms when n is equal to 1 along with x minus 1 so you can see that the present output is depending on the past input and as this is the final term all the other terms will also be the past values therefore the present output is depending on the past values of input and therefore we are getting the nature of causal system but we will check when n is equal to minus 1 as well when n is equal to minus 1 we will get y minus 1 equal to sum of different terms along with x1 now here if you notice the present output is depending on the future value of input and therefore we will say the system we are having is non-causal system now we will move on to the homework problems in the first homework problem output yn is equal to x minus n you are required to tell the system having this relationship between output and input is causal or non-causal let's move on to the second homework problem in this yn is equal to summation k equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x k again you need to tell whether the system is causal or non-causal let's move on to the third and the last homework problem in this problem yn is equal to summation k equal to minus infinity to n x k make this minus n so in all the three cases you are required to tell if the system is causal or non-causal so once you have your answers post them in comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one